All right, so and so we're waiting for Facebook, the Facebooks to come in. And I think we got them. So Facebook, welcome everybody. All right, so that's two. So we got, we are live right now on Insta. You're gonna see me moving back and forth like crazy during the show. Uh, this all this behind the scenes stuff uh, because there's a, there's a lot of work that goes on uh, that goes on behind the scenes, um, especially with Steve on vacation. So Steve is out. Um, so some of you might be thinking, well, that's what you get. And now you're going to see how much work he has to do on the show. Right? Okay, so that's cool. No problem. But we're going to get through it. So today's episode is going to be about, uh, about fear. It's going to be about fear, how to overcome it. We got, we got uh, I think, one question on tap. Um, but we get a lot of, we get a lot of interaction from you guys uh, about fear. And talk about the origin of fear. We're going to talk about, and we're going to talk about. We got a classic here, so I'll show you this before we get on. And this is one of my copies of Thinking Thinking Grow Rich. I haven't read it much, um, and I think this is like the the forty five year old version because the dag on. I mean, it's like the large print version. Of, <laughs> of thinking of thinking grow rich but we're going to talk i'm not going to give this away but there's a whole well if i say that it'll be given away um but there's a might as well so the the the, the bushes are 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 on the table for those of you who get that reference the beans are spilt okay uh, there's a whole chapter about fear uh in thinking grow rich and, and we're going to talk about it. we're going to get to the bottom of it. we're going we're going to see if we can uncover why uh it'll be great you know we can get feedback from the listeners if you see scrolling at the bottom um we've made it real easy for you guys to connect with me um you're going to go uh go to www.allthingsdavidwilson.com yep spelled that right www.allthingsdavidwilson.com um insta that is, you don't see that scrolling. That's gonna be, you're gonna see that on uh, Facebook, but you heard it. <laughs> so www. Well, actually, you're there. So if you go, so if you're on Insta and you go um, and you go into my, what do you call it? In the profile, there's a link. There's a link. Oh, there's a link in my bio. There we go. There's a link in my bio that will take you to allthingsdavidwilson.com. I got that. I got that. All right. See, see, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a quick learner. All right, we are. I'm gonna go. So Insta, you're gonna get the benefit of being, um, of being on all the time. So you're not gonna, you're not gonna lose me ever. That's gonna be good. I think for the most part, it might be bad for some of you, right? So that's just the way it is. Um, but. Oh, for the most part, I'm, I'm watching my time before we need to get on the radio. But for the most part, um, you'll see you'll see everything that goes on behind the scenes. Uh, I'm going to check on my video real quick. Facebook, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Periscope. We're going to go dark shortly and we'll come back uh, when the show starts. So thanks for watching. Hopefully it'll be a good show. Well, it'll be a good show. I mean, it'll, it'll be a show. <laughs> Put it that way. It'll 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 be a show. You decide whether whether it's a good show or not. All right. Biggest hurdle that we face around rejection. 
I'll show you how to do it. And never face that again. Surveyed about 90% of business leaders admit that they're slow. The most common cause for that salespeople who don't use their CRM the way they should. Why not? Well, it takes them too much time and discipline <coughs> to use the CRM completely, and if salespeople don't, the CRM system becomes useless. That's why when we started Salesflare, we asked ourselves what if we build a CRM system that builds out itself? What if we build a system? that services existing data so that you know and remember all about your customers and never forget and disappoint them at need. That's what Salesforce does today. It pulls in all the data, very good emails, email signatures, okay. calendars, phone, social data. Stand by 30 seconds. It offers it to you in an easy way. All right, so let's have a good one. Your CRM are always up to date. Want to see this for yourself? Head to salesforce.com and get your free trial. I see your true color shining through. I see your true color, and that's why I love you. So don't. Be afraid. I said, don't be afraid. No, no, don't be afraid to let them show your true color. True colors are beautiful like a rainbow. <laughs> Beautiful, just like you. But now it's time to get down to business and change the world. You know what to do. You ready? And let's say goodbye to 2020 and say my name. Savvy. Let's go. Welcome to No Nonsense Market Domination Radio Show here with David Wilson, the Business Savage. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, that was tough, right? That was tough. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. Differentiators all day long. 
you know how we do it. All right. So thank you. Thank you for joining us. Again, we are live. We are live on IBGR Network. We are live on Instagram. We are live on Facebook, 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 YouTube, YouTube, and Twitter. So that's awesome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. <clears throat> All right. So you are watching and listening on IBGR Network. IBGR Network uh, is at IBGR.network. So that's the website. If you go there, um, you can network with well, Profit Radio. Profit Radio. It is a conglomeration of entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs. Uh, we help entrepreneurs uh, by answering questions, by teaching, by guiding guiding uh, business owners to be the best they can be. So no matter what stage of business you're in, whether it's, uh, it could be idea. If you just have an idea, if you are a startup, a true startup, if you are pre-revenue, if you are um, growth. So if you're growing, if you're really growing, right? If you're really growing, or even if you are looking to exit your business, Come, come do that with us because we are here to help share our resources with you and help make you uh, the best business owners you can be. So <laughs> first let me, so I know what you're thinking. Some of you who are, who are returning listeners and returning listeners, I will tell you, um, I don't usually thank you first, but I'm gonna thank you. <laughs> But, but, but I'm going I'm to I'm thank you first today. So to our returning listeners, thank you so much for being back um, because I know you're probably going to get me right now in, in a second. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Um, if you're new to No Nonsense Market Domination Radio Show, I want to thank you. We want to say welcome. Uh, welcome to our new listeners. And I got to tell you, the first time, this is the first time I believe in the history of radio, like maybe in the history of radio, right? Or in the history of, definitely in the history of IBGR, I think that we are broadcasting all over the internet on every single platform on the internet with the exception of MySpace. And I, I had a problem, my MySpace account got hacked and we couldn't go live on MySpace, but the other user on MySpace, Justin Timberlake, probably is doing something else. So that, it doesn't make a difference anyway. Today, we are talking about fear. So don't be afraid. So don't be afraid to let it show, to let them show your true colors, right? So don't be afraid. Fear. Fear is a big, you got that? Yeah. See, it's, it's, it's all, there's a, there's a reason for it. <clears throat> Fear is the biggest dream killer out there. It's the biggest dream. A fear will turn a great idea into wood chips, just like that. A great idea, a, a, a brilliant plan a well-crafted, um, just a, a brilliant opportunity into nothing, into nothing. And I get a lot of I get a lot of uh, comments from folk from folks about fear. Um, you know, there was there was a I was a, I was a little apprehensive today about doing this show without my my in my in studio. Um, engineer Steve, who was on vacation. So yes, to to returning listeners, you got me. Steve's job is is hard. Steve, I appreciate you, and we appreciate you. All right, but Steve is not here, so now I'm doing all the work, and I am really not used to that. So that's good. Anyway, fear. What 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 is fear? So <clears throat> so much so. So fear is so important that. In one of arguably the greatest business self-help books of all time, Think and Grow Rich. So those of you on the radio, I'm holding up a real beat up 
well-used copy of Think and Grow Rich. There's a whole chapter on fear. It's called The Six Ghosts of Fear. Um, and we're going to refer to that uh, a, a little bit later. Uh, but I want to get to kind of the origins of fear and, and the, the, the science of fear. Okay, the, the science of fear is, um, did you know, okay, did you know, did you know, did you know that we are born with only two fears? Did you know that? Did you know that? What are they? Does anybody know? And it might, it might surprise you. It's the fear of falling and loud noises. The fear of falling and loud no noises. Those are the only fears we were born with, which, con which was confirmed uh, every time when I was little, I got in trouble and my mother yelled at me and threw me out the window. So, because that was you know, loud noises and fear of falling. That didn't happen. We're good. No, just, just, just kidding. Um, but that's it. Those are the only fears that we're born with. So where does fear come from? So where does fear come from? So we're going to go into Think and Grow Rich, and we're just going to let Napoleon Hill tell us what he thinks about fear and, and how fear starts to grow. And it's the 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 seedling, according to Napoleon Hill, the seedling of indecision, the seedling of fear is indecision. Remember this as you read. So indecision is the seedling of fear. Remember this as you read. Indecision crystallizes into doubt. The two blend and become fear. The, bent, the blending process often is slow. This is one reason why these three enemies are so dangerous. They germinate and grow without their presence being observed. So it's over time. I mean, there was a time there, there were there were times when as a kid and we and we think about I think all of this happens. We'll get into that in the second segment when 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 we're kids. I remember one time another time I got yelled at and got in trouble was I, I was outside playing. And I, I went outside and I saw, I saw a, a mouse. I thought it was a mouse. Okay. I later learned that you that a mouse is like this big. This is a rat. Okay. So this was this was a rat. But it was a dead rat. Okay. It was a dead rat. So I picked up the dead rat. You know, trying to think that, and I brought it into the house, and I was like, hey, you know, I think we should, we should probably save the rat. And everybody freaked out. It was like, oh my god, no, that's a rat. Oh, you're gonna get the bubonic plague, and you're gonna get you're gonna get all this. And I'm thinking to myself, no, this is a dead animal. We have to help it. Now, I was about I don't know five, maybe four, five, six, or something. Here's my point. I ain't I ain't about to pick up no dead rat today. Okay, not with my hands. I didn't do it with a shovel. I picked up a raccoon, a dead raccoon once uh, with a shovel. But anyway, so back in segment two, um, I'm, I'm looking at my clock. In segment two, we are going to get into childhood and the derivatives of fear. And we're going to talk about the fear of rejection. Be right back. And scene. Okay, so now... We are off. Okay. So now we're going to uh, commercial. So Insta, hang with me. That's great. I'm going to check Insta in just a second. Thank you for uh, watching on all, all the bucks, <laughs> the face bucks, and, and all the tubes, the bucks and the tubes, uh, and Twitter. We're not going to leave Twitter out because Twitter is doing a good job uh, with the video, with with the video on Periscope. All right. So right now, I am I am listening to my sh I'm listening to the commercials on my show. So you guys can't hear them unless you can hear them, right? Um, 
That's a real stupid place to put that. Gosh. Um, so you can't hear them unless you can hear them. I'm listening for my cue so I know when to uh, when to come back on. But it's all it's all a big operation behind the scenes. So I'll be right back. Okay, Insta Insta looks good. Um, Insta looks good. The bucks look good. The tubes look good. Radio sounds good. We're in good shape. So now I'm I'm doing all my checks. I'm checking all my messages and 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 whatnot to make sure I can be heard on the radio. Sound is good, and we're good to go. So I will be right back. are back. David Wilson, the Business Savage. Welcome back to No Nonsense Market Domination Radio Show here on IBGR Network. It is a little after three, well, a little after three, 18 minutes after three. So it's, it's relative. It's relative. And we are talking about, we are talking about fear. Um, <clears throat> if you have not already, let me give you some IBGR stuff real quick. Uh, if you have not, checking my time, Steve's not here. If you if you have not already, uh, download the app. We have an app at IBGR. So go to your app store um, for Android or for the Apple phone, and you can download your app to your phone and listen to uh, listen to us on uh, your favorite phone in the palm of your hand. Can you believe that? I mean, it's amazing what, what we can do nowadays. So you can listen right on your app. <clears throat> and you can get show notes. You can get you can interact with us. You can make comments. Uh, you can get free stuff. You can follow us in the community. You can um, learn. We're all here, and and we we as the as the we the, we're we're called the on air talent, right? And I and I think that's a that's a that's a pretty cool sounding name. Um, uh, but but ultimately we are we're entrepreneurs and business owners just like you. We just happen to be on on this side of the screen, and we're here to help. And and I'll tell you, we can learn. We learn from everyone, right? So we learn. I, I don't care how long you've been doing this. There's always something. There's all. There's always something to 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 learn from another from another business owner, from another situation, from another entrepreneur. So we are happy to do that. Let's let's grow together. Let's learn together and and let's prosper together. It's been a it's been a bumpy year. Uh, but, you know, I'll, I'll echo something Richard said earlier in the in the show before. Um, it, it, it if you've pushed through 2020 and you're here, um, kudos to you. So I, absolutely. If you haven't, that's OK, too. We're going to do something different. So that's that's OK, too. It doesn't it doesn't make a difference. We're all here. We're all moving forward. You can't drive a car while looking through the rear view mirror. OK. Uh, fear of rejection. So fear, fear of rejection. Where does that even come from? Because remember, we're only afraid of two things, fear of falling and fear of loud noises like Bev 
yelling at me for doing something <laughs> that I didn't even do, that I didn't even do. It wasn't even my fault. It was Dane's fault. <clears throat> so where does that other stuff come from then? Because it, it kind of doesn't make any sense, right? If, if we're only naturally afraid of two things, where does the other stuff come from? So in my, in my novice, Columbo-ish, uh, psychological and analytical mind, perhaps Freudian mind, he would probably say this, I think it comes from childhood and, it's, and it, it ends up being taught or, or learned, if you will. You know, if if I were to if I were to tell a story, and this 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 goes back this goes back to um, high school, maybe maybe uh, junior high school, when you know the first time the, the the girl you liked, you go you go up to her and say, hmm, <laughs> hey, can I can I uh, can I buy you one of those pizzas with the with the crust on it, the little extra ch crust around the cheese, the square of the Ilios? And you know she comes up, she comes up and is like, "I don't want no Elios. I got a real pizza." And, and she pulls out like a slice from 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 Tony's or Berardi's or something. And you feel terrible, right? You feel that really happened. By the way, that really happened. I'm not saying any names, but that really happened. Here's my point. So while that's funny and at my expense, while that's funny, here's the reality. The reality is we take that stuff with us. We take that stuff with us into adulthood, through childhood, into adulthood, right? And it molds how we walk. Som sometimes the, the rest of our lives. Some, sometimes, sometimes the rest of our lives. So, so now when I'll use the I'll use business girl, blah blah blah. When blah 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 rejects you, and that happens, and you you put it in a file, and then you move into high school. Maybe it happens again, or you think it happens again, and then you move into the next stage of your life, and you think it happens again, and then it then it becomes normal. And now what you do is you avoid. You you avoid it. I think I think also, um, yeah. There may be a, there may be a little bit of that that comes from uh, just growing up and being told no. You know, can I can I do this? No. Can I can I? Well, why? Because I said so. <laughs> it's like it's like the famous it's like the famous line from 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 parents. Because I said so. Hey, can I do business with you? No. Why? Because I said so. And then it just it just it, it go it goes into business. My point though is that the first step. So remember, we always talk about nuggets that you can take away. Um, is identifying this as a challenge. If this is a problem for you, do you fear rejection? Acknowledge that you do. If you do, okay. Nobody likes to be likes to feel rejected. Um, a lot, though, going back to the the original uh, uh, snap, the Savage Networking Action Plan that we talked about in the first first series, first first uh, show this season is. Um, God, where was I going with that? I had, I have I have no idea. See, I had a lot of concussions as a, as an athlete. Hold on, it'll 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 come back to me. And see, it's a shame. You want to you want to talk about vulnerability? So I just lost my train of thought live <laughs> in, front, in 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 front of the world. That's terrible. Um, snap, trauma, action. Oh, about rejection. And um, mindset, so the map, mindset, action, and plan. So we 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 have a map, and and the first shift we have to make is a shift in, in mindset, and and we have to not think about, we have to reframe everything. 
So imagine if we had if we had had these tools as kids to be able to because re rejection is just a state of mind. Rejection is a perception. That's all it is. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to get into uh, my my the no re my no rejection connection uh, program. You can check that out at allthingsdavidwilson.com. The thing that's scrolling at the bottom. Um, but that's all about mindset shifting. It's all about mindset shifting. It's all about um, instead of looking for what you can get, you look for what you can give. Now imagine. Now take this back. Take the, take this back to blah blah blah. Right. So take this back to blah 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 in in uh, in junior high school, and instead of me, hey, you want a you you want a piece of pizza and you know, no, and instead of feeling rejected, I just said to I said to hey blah, no problem, I understand, I'm just trying to help, cause I thought cause you looked real hungry. OK, you looked real hungry. I was just trying to help you. No, I wasn't mad. I'm just not a flashback. I, I'm, I'm just trying to help. And instead, take that, take that slice. Give it to Mary. I'm just trying to help. So I don't feel rejected. We because we carry all this stuff with us. Is where we we. We we form, we draw these conclusions based on something that's not real. Now, how does this translate? It translates into what? Indecision. It translates into lack of motivation. It translates into not taking action. Because what we'll do, we'll, we'll justify We'll, we'll justify not going to talk to blah, blah, blah any way we want. And, and we'll just we'll justify the things that we don't do, the push ups we don't do all the time because we can come up with some good reasons. We, we can we can come up with some good reasons because the, the mind works that way. And we will naturally try to avoid um, rejection. Something, something that hurts. So it's normal to to avoid something that hurts. You know, I ain't. Gonna, I, I'm. I'm gonna get my hand burned on the stove once. Maybe like, okay, one time. Second time is not gonna happen. I'm gonna avoid that. But if I avoid cooking because I burn my hand on the stove, or I stop eating altogether because I'm a because I got food poisoning once you see that's how that's how we so we sh we shift our we shift our mindset and, and and realize that rejection rejection is not real reject rejection is not real it's a it's a state of mind think about this as we are um, moving moving forward in 2021 you know we're making all the uh, resolutions i'm not a resolution guy you know as you're setting your goals as you are um, pushing forth into 2021, I want you to really think about that. What can you do? What one thing can you do that you were afraid to do because you felt like you were going to be rejected? Just rejection and do it. All right. We'll be right back for uh, segment uh, segment three, David Wilson, No Nonsense Market, uh, Market Domination Radio Show here on IBGR Network. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. Yeah. Having fun. Yeah, good. <laughs> that translated well. So, all right. So Insta's with me. The bucks are with me. The tubes are with me. And we got the scope is with me. So beautiful. All right. So let's, I'd love, love to hear comments about fear. Your experiences about fear. Um, this is, this is fun. This is working out. Uh, well, so I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. So part of what I, what I need to do is I need to be aware there's an earth, there's a, there's a message, message, messenger that, uh, that keeps me in communication with the, with the main, with, with downtown, with Mitch and Murray downtown. <laughs> the main 
<laughs> the main the main office. So I have to make sure. So worst case scenario that no one can hear me. So I can I'm monitoring this here. What's live uh, live visually, but they're monitoring what's audible. And if I'm not connected and they can't hear me, they're going to let me know. That's the only way I'll know that I'm not heard because I'm not listening to myself on the show. Does that make sense? I'm not listening to myself on the radio because it will, will, will sound sound like like that that and and, and it will, it'll be like that. That's what will happen. And it's just really it's really ugly. Um, so I am controlling all of my all of my sounds. I'm controlling all my boards back here. I got all my notes. We're going to dive into the uh, fear of failure. So I think I'd love to hear more about what you guys think of the um, fear of rejection and, and how maybe it relates to the fear of failure. We want to bring you up. Okay, getting ready to go back live. It'll be uh, 20 seconds. Welcome back, David Wilson, No Nonsense Market Domination Radio Show here on IBGR Network, Business Savage. Welcome back. We are talking about fear, and we're talking about three fears in particular on this particular show. Uh, we Last segment, we talked about fear of rejection and how we have to shift our mindset to, to make sure... Um, Rejection is not real. Re rejection is not real. Uh, we also talked about childhood and 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 how our childhood experiences of um, all, just all the stuff we go through the the being turned down for the school dance, um, being made fun of because I wore the same pants three days in a row, being made fun of because I had the Adidas that were plastic and everybody else. Well, OK, I mean, that's not real. I made that all up. But we can, we carry it. We, we 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 carry it with us. You know, everywhere we go, there's your there's your plastic Adidas right, right, right there, son. OK, there's your plastic Adidas. Anyway, that's personal. That's personal. Get 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 out, get out your feelings. The fear of failure. OK, what is what is what is the fear of failure? That's pretty simple. That's pretty simple to understand. Right. So the fear, the fear of failure. Makes sense. We're all afraid to fail. Right. Makes sense. The next one doesn't make any sense, but this one definitely makes sense. Here's the problem, though, and here's 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 where we kind of here's where we mess this all up. And it's the definition of failure and what failure really means. So we we think of we think of it as binary. We think of it as success or failure. And because of that, so if it's not success, therefore, it must be failure. If it's not success, therefore, 
it must be failure. And that's false. That's just, that is, that is just, that is, that is just not true. That that's, that's wrong. Okay. That's wrong. That's wrong. And that's, that's the, that's the blind spot. That's the pitfall. That's, that's where this whole thing kind of falls apart. So that's going back to the beginning of the season. That's where we need to, to shift uh, our, our mindset. And we, we just have to, and we're taught this. We're taught. We're taught this early on. Our school system is is designed. It, teach, it teaches us that, that it's binary. You know. You know the 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 A A kid A student C student F student. I mean, I guess that's not binary, but you know what I'm saying. You 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 know what I'm talking about. Um, but you're either successful or you're a failure. What we need to be teaching and what we need to understand is. Um, a, 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 a win is a win. A loss is a lesson. There's your takeaway. A win is a win. A loss is a lesson. Doesn't matter what. So if we're focused on, I talk about push-ups. Push-ups don't do themselves. Do your push-ups every day. If we're doing our push-ups every day and less brown. And we are shooting. We are shooting for the moon. Huh. Why would you shoot for the moon? That's too far. Well, Les Brown, because even if I miss, even if I miss, I'm still among the stars, right? Still among the stars. Shout, shout out to Les Brown there. Um, you're, st you're still among the stars. Um, real life example of this, and it happened to me just what four or five days ago. That was our time. I want to call. I want to call out to Steve, but he's not here. And I almost, feel, I almost feel like I'm, I'm like Steve withdrawal or something. And it's terrible. <laughs> I'll never talk about you badly again. <laughs> All right. I mean, it may just fire me anyway, so it doesn't, doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay. So over the weekend, and and this is, um, we might give you we might give you a bonus uh, takeaway nugget that that comes out of this, and it's a and it's about goals. It's a, it's about goals. I want to make sure I have enough time during this segment to to tell this story. Um, but bonus bonus nugget. And I'll I'll do a video on this at some point. Um, well, I'm doing one. I guess I'm doing one now, huh? <laughs> so stop telling people what your goals are. Stop telling people what you're going to do. Just show them. Just do it. Just show them. Because it because it just it, it invites it invites too much. And watch this. It, it, it invites too, too much noise, too much noise. Susan Jeffers. Rest in peace. Uh, Feel the fear and do it anyway was her book. And she she passed away some time ago. And she talks about the chatterbox. It's that voice in our head that tells us, no, 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 you're wrong. Oh, you're not good enough. Oh, no. Remember what remember what blah, blah, blah said. No, no, no. Remember what Mary said. Oh, remember what Steve said. No, you're not good enough. Oh, no, you can't lift that. Oh, no, you can't do that. Oh, no, you can't. And we have to we have to shut him or her up so that we can shift that paradigm and feel the fear, but do it anyway, right? Fear, fear is, is, is there. Fear is a real thing, but it's how we deal with fear. And, and what's worse, she would say, what's worse question. What's worse? Um, not doing something because of fear, well, pushing through, pushing through fear or not doing something and the regret that comes from not doing it because of the perception of fear, which is worse. Okay, so there's your there's your bonus nugget. <laughs> so now here's the story. So wait. Story time. Okay, so I set a goal to myself. When we went under, we went under. Wow. When we when we went in for the pandemic, the whole COVID thing, you know, COVID. And I said to myself, 
as I was as I was weeping in the corner because you know I couldn't go outside or anything. Uh, you know, that was actually pretty well timed. Okay, um, and I said, you know, I want to do something to really get rid of 2020. And I and I set this this goal to because I I. I I'm, I'm a weightlifter, so I, I, I weight train and I, I, I lift and I, you know, stay healthy. It's one of the things I do to stay healthy. And one of the, one of the goals I set was in the leg press. Uh, I want to set a personal best. I'm always looking to set personal best in what I'm doing. This has everything to do with failure, by the way. So this will make sense. Uh, and I said, like back in May, I think, you know what? I'm going to leg press 2020. Like leg press 2020. So leg press 2020 pounds is what is what my goal was. But I didn't tell anybody. I didn't say this to anyone. I just kept it to myself because, you know, a friend, friend, friend of mine that I went to school with, one of my uh, one of my great friends uh, in the world, Max, said, David, he calls me. He calls me by my government name. Right? <clears throat> David, you, you sure you should be doing that, dog? And 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 he'll, he'll, say, he'll say he'll say it just like that. That's that's a, that's a lot of weight. Okay, so, but in my head, I'm thinking, you know, I've been through some stuff, um, and I figure I want to challenge myself. I, I I get a kick out of challenging myself and and doing things like that. So in my head, and I've been training for it. I've been doing, and then it come to find out, what's today? Thirtieth. So 27. So twenty seven December, I think. Is that right? Yep. Is when I decided, and you can go on. You can see this live. And there's there's a here's the here's really what this is about. I decided that today was going to be the day that I leg press a ton. That was that was what I decided. And plus, we're almost out of 2020. I didn't want to run out of time. So I started loading the plates up. I'm, I'm working up to that. And finally, I get uh, I get my man at the Y to to want to take a video. And then I said, you know what? No, we're not going to take a video. We're going to do it live. And why is that important? Because to me, so I knew there's a there's a one of the reasons we think failure is bad is because because of the perceived embarrassment and i just wanted to eliminate all of that so here's 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 where we are this is going to happen or it's not going to happen either way i'm either going to shoot for the moon and hit the moon or i'm going to miss and i'm going to be among the stars. And that's exactly what happened. Not the former, not the latter. So I ended up leg pressing this uh, 2029 because my, my math got fuzzy at the end, but 2029 pounds, <clears throat> two slash three times. And, and it was in a, I averted the fear there because there was no failure. There, there was no failure there. So that's the mindset shift. That's what we have to do to, to shift that paradigm. In our last segment, we're going to talk about something that makes absolutely no sense. And that's something called the fear of success. And we're going to explore that. That came in uh, as a question. Uh, you are listening to Business Savage. Savvy. All right. All right. Good stuff. I think we sound good. We'll wrap this up for 2020. 20, 2020. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having a good time. You can hit me with some like some like a, a fireball emoji or something, something, something different. Letting me know that, that, that you like it, that you're having a good time. That'd be great. Um, but this is this is fun. I appreciate you all being with me. Uh, it's always very uh, humbling to be able to do stuff like this and to um, 
you know, to have people listen and to have people engage. And I'm, and I'm hopeful to be able to, uh, to help someone somewhere in the world. So, um, so I appreciate, I appreciate you all. So thanks for, uh, thanks for being here with me. <clears throat> all right. So last segment, so it's 345 now. We usually launch at about, um, what about a minute and a half off the quarter and then we'll go into the next the next segment so each segment is about 12 i think it's like 12 and a half minutes roughly 12 to 12 and a half minutes long um, so. so for those of you who have been listening i got my uh <clears throat> this is like a bootleg glengarry glen ross cup that because I don't think I don't think that's um Alec Baldwin's Alec Baldwin wasn't drinking the coffee in the movie. Um but it's like coffee is for closers only. I don't it's not exactly what it says, but you get the message. So it's like put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. <clears throat> it's Glen Gary, Glenn Ross. It's probably on Netflix. It's a good movie, actually. Oh, wait, we got a radio show to do. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, no. That was a clean intro. David Wilson, Business Savage. Welcome back to No Nonsense Market Domination Radio Show here on IBG, our network profit radio, where we have resources for businesses in each and every stage from startup to exit. Hey, we're an entrepreneur's best friend. Come grow with us. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> it's been a great year for um, IBG. I want to thank all of our uh, listeners for for the support i want to uh especially uh thank uh bill and donna who are back downtown in the home office <clears throat> for putting this uh, uh magnificent collection of uh business owners and uh, entrepreneurs together on air uh to give us a voice a voice that will help uh help change the world in 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 reality help change the world by, by giving business owners the resources they need uh, based on our experiences uh, to help them be the best they can be. So I can't thank you enough. It is an absolute pleasure to uh, do what I do here on IBGR. Um, so thank you, Bill. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Bill. Just, had to <clears throat> Just felt that to be proper. Okay. <clears throat> Fear of success. So this came in. This was a this was a question actually. This came in from Jimmy. So Jimmy asked, was stated, it was a question, I guess. The fear of success can't be real. It makes no sense, right? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. It, it makes it makes no sense. <clears throat> See, because it's illogical, right? Why on earth? You know, the fear of raccoon uh, raccoons you know i had i had um kids afraid of a fake made up animal it's not made up it's a real animal a hominid but as when we were growing up when they were growing up it's real it's real it's real it's real but that so that makes sense you know like a five-legged raccoon fox hybrid okay that's pretty pretty daggone scary right but but not success why would you be afraid of success? We don't do the things we 
should do. Because of one thing. And that one thing is pain. Okay, so we are every every fear is is an effort is a bodily um, sometimes um, physiological, but oftentimes mental avoidance of pain. And, and, and as business owners, whether we are fearing rejection, what's the pain? The pain is the feeling that I'm not worth it. I'm not good enough. If you don't want what I'm selling, if you don't want my what I'm giving you, if you don't want, then there must be something wrong with me. And we internalize that. The fear of failure. Gosh, if, if I don't make this lift, I'm going to look like a fool on live TV, on live radio. If I decide to sing live and my voice cracks, I'm going to sound like a, I'm going to sound like somebody whose voice just cracks in front of millions of people. I don't know. But you get what I'm saying. <clears throat> and that would make me feel pain. But Success isn't painful. So, Jimmy, so to Jimmy's point, to, to, to Jimmy's point, the hot dog, you're right. It makes no sense because when we when we achieve success, it's supposed to feel good. You get you get that watch. You get you get you look at your bank account and, you know, there's they got their statement. They have to put your statement side by side instead of top to bottom because the numbers are running are running to they, they, they can't put them all on, on the statement. Right. You're you're enjoying the accolades. You're enjoying the fruits of your labor. How can that be bad? Well, here's the pain. And, you know, I've done, I've, I've asked around about this. And typically what we see, we see people, when people exhibit the, this type of self-sabotaging behavior, it's, it's a couple of things. So one, you end up, the pain is of loss. That's one of the pains. So <clears throat> I'm going to lose friends. I'm going to lose family. When I start doing well, people aren't going to want to be around me. You know, I grew I grew up in a household where like like rich people, rich people were messed up. You either you either stole the money, you ganked somebody for it, you did something illegal, you did and it was bad. And, and when you carry that stuff with you, right? It, it 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 especially during you hear it during your formative years, it 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 forms and it and it grows with within you. So you you end up acting out what you learned which is which is what which is what we do right we we act out what we learn and it's like no i don't want you to treat me like that person who stole something or did something wrong or so i'm not going to be successful i'm going to avoid it i'm going to be mediocre instead because mediocrity will keep you around you won't push me away if i'm mediocre that makes perfect sense, right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, it makes sense. It's just not right. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just not, it's not rooted in, in reality. There's also this fear that if I'm successful today, so if I win this wrestling match today, you're going to expect me to win it again tomorrow. You're going to expect me to win another match. You know, if I close this deal today, this big deal, you're going to expect me to close another big deal. And I don't want 
that pain. I don't want that. So now we we backed into. So the fear of success is kind of the top, and it, it's trickling down all of these these other fears. So it's, it's it's a fear of success, but ultimately you don't want to feel rejected. Ultimately, you don't want to feel like a failure because you because the inadequacy sets in. So here's how we fix this. Here's here here's how we fix it. I I have not. And it's it's all it's all mindset. First of all, um, everything we talked about in terms of the fear of success was out of our control. Okay, everything I just mentioned is 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 out of our control. So I can't control cousin Fifi real cousin, not wanting to deal with me anymore because I just got a rollie. I can't control that. If that's something I want and that's what I'm going to do, I can't, I can't control that. I can't control, um, you know, Roger from back in the day, not wanting to talk to me anymore. And we've been friends for a long time because, um, of his experience with quote unquote rich people. I, I can't control that. So the first thing we need to do is stop worrying about what other people are thinking. Ultimately for all of these, you if you can't control it, stop, stop trying to change it. Stop trying to change it. Stop trying to even affect it because you can't. <clears throat> you, you can't, you can't affect it. Um, you may lose friends. You may have you and you may be expected. You may be go. Oh, you may be expected to do it again. You may be expected to do it again. You know, my my, my family does, you know, kind of expects me to do it again. You know what I mean, it's just yeah, that's great. <laughs> when, when you going back to work, <laughs> right? So, so they they that's what that's what they expect. God, that's that didn't even sound right, man. That's awful. Oh that god, that was like a D.L. Hughley moment or something. <clears throat> the best, the best way I've found to describe this is uh, Lisa Nichols. You have to know like you know like you know. And if you go back to um, to a post that I made about my uh, Little League days, Dodgers going to beat the Phillies, um, you have to believe in yourself no matter which of these fears is affecting you. You have to believe in yourself when even when there's no reason to. And that's where we need to be. And as business owners, as entrepreneurs, that's where we need to be. That's where we are at our best. When we know like we know like we know and we believe in ourselves, even if we are the only people doing so. And that's your takeaway. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure to be with you this year. In, 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 in 2020, this is the end of our season. Join us for season four, which kicks off uh, next week. I am David Wilson, the business average on No Nonsense Market Domination Radio Show here on IBGR. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in 2021. And scene. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. That's the show. That's it. It's that simple. So thank you for being on board uh, with us. We made history. We were on all, all platforms, including Insta. So, so, uh, and, and the radio. So we probably could have like mailed a letter or something, but it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have come in time. Right. So that's just not, <clears throat> but anyway, Thank you so much. I appreciate you. 
Um, go down to that website, allthingsdavidwilson.com. You can find all of my stuff there, all of my socials, free stuff. If you want to download the podcast, if you want to subscribe to the podcast, subscribe to the two, the two. That's, see, people are going to start saying that. People are going to start saying that, the two. And then one of my kids, they're already saying that, Dad. They've been saying it for years. That's fine. That's cool. But that's all right. Because because I'm still, let me show you something real quick, real quick. Because it's that, okay? Period. Guys, have a marvelous, marvelous. Oh, nice. Uh, marvelous day. Have a marvelous, have a marvelous day. Uh, happy holidays to everyone. Happy Kwanzaa. Um, and let's let's make. Let's be thankful. So, so gather our thoughts today and tomorrow and into the new year and think about what you can really be thankful for. If you're watching this, you already have something. OK, if you're watching this, you are you already have something to be thankful for. If you're listening to this, you already have something to be thankful for. I know that it's been a challenge for a lot of people. We've lost a lot of people. A lot of people got sick. A lot of people are still sick. And you know, my heart, my heart is is out for you, for you. Um, but together, if we keep moving forward, and 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 we keep, we just keep forging ahead. Um, you know, I believe we're gonna make it. I believe we're gonna make it, and. Um, I look forward to seeing you on the other side of the year in 2021 and hearing about what you overcame, what you got through in 2020 uh, and what you had to overcome to get to 2021 and make it your best year ever. So thank you so much. Hey, we're still there. Thank you so much and uh, happy new year and we'll see you next time. Everybody's leaving except for Insta, and we're going to sign out of Insta, and then we'll be done. Thank you.